Hello again. I wanted to reshare this challenge, January 8th challenge, to physically draw Congress freehand at the steps of the Capitol, January 8th. Now, I've written a nice letter to Michael Johnson, the Speaker of the House, who's in charge of the Capitol grounds, to, in, in, uh, to embrace this opportunity for the people that are talented artists in the nation, or architects or interior designers, to come and meet and, you know, um, get to know the, the, our representatives and make January 8th more important a day in our history than January 8th. So to do that and to coordinate these efforts, not only for the uh, not only for the the um, House of Representatives and the Senate, but also around the country, people meet in um, in our state agencies in the state, and as well as city council, and are photographed. And there's a op nice opportunity to, for posterity's sake, to 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 um, exercise the talents of our um, artists in the nation. You know, like like a sketch artist. Now we call this group the Constitution Integrity Arts Society, and the abbreviation is a three-letter a three-letter abbreviation. Now, my reading of the Constitution, three-letter agencies are not in the Constitution, but citizens are. So that means that the three-letter agencies work for the citizens, and it's a very exciting and empowering thing to let artists and sometimes architects who are not always at the higher end of the scale know these things. So the idea is to be invited and to get accepted in the public realm and appreciated by our work and talents and then invited into the private realms where, where, where the nice food and the nice wine are shared and sometimes money changes hands uh, in this form of a sponsorship almost like advertising where politicians ask sometimes large corporate donors for, for, uh, um, for, for sponsorship now one thing that's very important in the Constitution that's pretty hardcore um, is that it's not cool for politicians to accept money from foreign nations but some of our large corporations today are global corporations so there is a little bit of a conflict of interest and at the, the, at the Constitutional Integrity Art Society, our job is to keep it real. And artists like to have fun. And I don't see why they shouldn't be invited into the private realms. And what we intend to do is pay the artists for their times. Maybe 10% of that sponsorship. I, as an architect, make about 10%. I don't see why it's not fair for the artist to make 10%. And that means if it's a $20,000 donation that a sponsor often makes to a Senate race, that means the artist will make $1,000 a minute because these sketches need to take place competing with the camera lens, which is 0.15 seconds, 0 0.015 seconds. That's not enough time to really understand someone, but an artist present will have an uh, the, the sponsor will have an opportunity to get to know the, 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 um, the senator. And the, and the community will happen. Let's take, for instance, the senator asks the sponsor, where do your children go to school? And the sponsor would respond something like, well, my eldest just got accepted to Vanderbilt University. And then the this politician would say, could, could potentially say, well, that's amazing because my college roommate is a professor at Vanderbilt University. You should look him up. And that will create community that artists are so well at doing. I apologize for all the graffiti on the, on, the, on the signs, but you can see Miami where we had an amazing exhibit in Woodwood on 23rd Northwest and, um, and uh, 2nd Avenue was so well received by thousands and thousands of artists that passed by and are planning to meet us in Washington um, that were there for the Miami Art Basel uh, event. And I tell you, we're having so much fun. Let's think about making January 8th a more memorable day than January 6th in our nation's history. See you there.